time that Bhaktivinoda Thakur started his preaching with his Nam Hatha program, it is described that he had a hard time obtaining a copy of the original Chaitanya Charitamrita in Bengali. The situation was so bad amongst the practitioners of Gaudiya Vaishnavism that it was difficult to find a copy of the Chaitanya Charitamrita, the most authentic authorized literature of the Gaudiya Vaishnavas. So some way or other, Bhaktivinoda Thakur was able to obtain a copy and he eventually made a commentary on the Chaitanya Charitamrita. His son, Srila Bhaktisiddhanta Saraswati Thakur, also made a commentary on many of the verses and texts of the Chaitanya Charitamrita. It's to be noted that what we currently have, this English translation is based upon the commentary of Bhaktivinoda Thakur and Bhaktisiddhanta Saraswati Thakur, along with Srila Prabhupada's profuse translations and purports. So this is a very special book, very special. Everybody heard the story how Srila Prabhupada wanted the devotees to produce this book. It is quite a masterpiece of publishing, major accomplishment in a very short time. Srila Prabhupada put a lot of pressure on the devotees in Los Angeles, the GBC, the temple president, the entire staff of the BBT, the artist, the, the editors, the Sanskrit editors, the English editors, the Bengali editors, everybody went into a full action mode and it was like quite a, a lot of pressure on these devotees. It's a little bit like in the Mahabharata, the story of how Vyasadeva agreed to dictate the Mahabharata as long as Ganesh would not stop writing. If he stopped writing, that was the end of it. So he just kept dictating a hundred thousand verses of the Mahabharata and Ganesh, he was an empowered agent of Krishna, he wrote for Vyasadeva the entire Mahabharata. So Srila Prabhupada empowered these devotees to produce the book and Srila Prabhupada was very happy with that production. He was very, very happy. I personally heard from His Divine Grace Himself in 1977 how He wanted to translate the Vishnu Purana. He already had started the Mukunda Mala Sutra in the late 1960s. He already started the translation of the Vedanta Sutra, but He never finished. But He was very interested in finishing, in publishing the Vishnu Purana, which is a very important Sattvika Purana. So these literatures that we have here, especially Chaitanya Charitamrita, Srimad Bhagavatam, these are very special, special books. In the Srimad Bhagavatam itself, it is a description that where the, the sages of Nimesharanya asked Sutta Goswami, where of the principles of religion gone now that Krishna has departed? Krishna departed right at the end of Dwapara Yuga and Kali Yuga began after his departure. So the sages right at the beginning of Kali Yuga in Namisharanya asked Sutta Goswami, where's the principles of religion now? Where did they go? And Sutta Goswami replied in one verse, Krishna Svadhamo Pagate, that the, the Srimad Bhagavatam, the principles of religion reside in the pages of Srimad Bhagavatam. And there is one purport where Srila Prabhupada explains that the Srimad Bhagavatam is directly the presence of Lord Krishna Himself. We're not just reading a story or some storytelling or some narrative of some event. No, this is the direct manifestation of Krishna Himself through the mouth of these great exalted devotees. First, the Bhagavatam was spoken what's called the Chatu Shloki Bhagavatam. In the second canto, there's the four most important verses of the Bhagavatam that was spoken directly by Lord Krishna to Brahma. Brahma also spoke the Srimad Bhagavatam to his disciple Narada. Narada described the Srimad Bhagavatam to Vyasadeva. 
there is also in the Srimad Bhagavatam itself, how the Srimad Bhagavatam was revealed by Lord Samkarsana to the four Kumaras, those great transcendental spiritual authorities. Then there is also the story how the Srimad Bhagavatam was revealed by Shukadev Goswami to Maharaj Pariksit. <clears throat> 